modern technologies for the installation of large transformers ensure low water content and in insulation materials right up to the start of operation. But at the repair stage, when complete depressurization and oil removal are performed, the transformer is especially vulnerable to humidity. In a relatively short amount of time, solid insulation in contact with atmospheric air can absorb more water than during many years of operation. This limits the performance of the transformer and shortens its service life. To protect the winding insulation from moisture during transformer depressurization, Globecore has developed a method for using dry hot air. It is implemented in such machines as the Mojave Heat. This is the smallest machine in the lineup. This is a Mojave Heat unit with a dry air output capacity of 100 cubic meters per hour. Its height does not exceed 170 centimeters. Its length is 135 centimeters and its width is 80 centimeters. <music> Nevertheless, the unit performs the same processes as the larger models. First of all, it is in the drying of atmospheric air and purging of the transformer tank with this air. In this mode, a blower moves atmospheric air through a zeolite filled column. Zeolite absorbs moisture from the air and captures it in its granules. To prevent solid particles, which might be carried by the air from entering the transformer, a 5 micron filter is installed at the Mojave heat outlet. After the filter, Dry air with a dew point of minus 50 degrees Celsius enters the transformer tank. If necessary, the temperature of the air can be increased with an air heater. The absorber contains 200 kilograms of zeolite at an ambient temperature of plus 20 degrees Celsius and a relative humidity of no more than 80%. This is quite enough to protect the transformer for 10 hours of complete depressurization. The degree of saturation of the zeolite is determined by the instrumental method. After saturation of the zeolite with water, Mojave heat switches to sorbent reactivation mode. Air heated to a temperature of 400 to 430 degrees Celsius passes through the absorber and takes away all the moisture contained in the zeolite granules. The reactivation process does not require external equipment and extraction of the zeolite from the absorber. This process takes no more than four hours, after which the Mojave heat can again dry and supply air to the transformer tank. This is how the Mojave heat units keeps transformer windings in good condition, no matter how long the transformer tank is exposed. In the next video, we will take a look at a larger and more capable Mojave heat model. For more information, visit our website at www.globecore.com.